2005, uh, I suddenly noticed blood on the floor one morning and my wife made me go to the doctor where I straight away found I had a tumour of the rectum. Um, so I went into the hospital and went through. Well, they brought me in for an operation and the, the tumour was too big. Of course, thanks to me for not getting to the hospital and the doctor quicker, where I could have been caught maybe earlier on. Um, they had to put me through chemotherapy and uh, radiotherapy to shrink it so as they could operate on me. And then um, on the two weeks before my operation, um, one of my sons passed away, which made the actual operation more difficult to go through. My main regret is not going to the doctor a lot earlier when I found that I was losing weight and, and I was getting tired and the toilets had changed. Uh, if I had went earlier, as, as I said, it, uh, I would have been diagnosed earlier and I possibly could have the rest of my life to live. Three years ago, um, I, I was in, after I was told I was um, terminally ill, I thought now I must give something back, um, get money raised to help this disease be beat. And uh, I was reading the, the Citizen one day and it was uh, a race for men had just started. And I thought, yes, this, this is a wonderful thing to do. So um, I went down and I did the best I could in the race. Instead of sitting down and not doing anything about it, Dad's keeping busy in a really great positive way. He's getting out there, he, he's getting the word out there that this has happened to me, it could happen to anyone. So um, I said, look, I would mind taking it over from you. So um, we, we formed another committee and the majority of the committee was all my daughters, my wife, my sons, and we all got together and uh, we, we, we we worked on it and uh, we got 200 runners last year, which we are 17,000. He does so much as well. He, he goes out and helps older people. He does their gardens. He, you know, he enjoys buying plants and making their gardens look lovely. He always wants to keep going. I think of him as a warrior, really, because he's had this cancer for a long time and um, it's quite surprising how long um, he's going to live. Well, this year we would realistically like to see 400 men running. Whether that will happen or not, I don't know. But if, if we could reach 400 this year, it would be absolutely fantastic. And um, it would make everything that Derek's been through worthwhile. My family can't believe how I can talk like this, but it makes me feel stronger, positive inside that I can talk to people like this. We love you very much. much.